Hi everyone, now this is the fly I'm going to be tying. Now this is a, how can I put it, now, there's a fly called a, I call an all-rounder. Now it's a fly that gives impression of a few flies and it's like an all-round type fly uh, like this one is. This is just like a, it could be an olive, it could be a midge. Now I tie this a couple of ways. This is the midge version that I use or uh, tie. Uh, it's the natural colour with the natural quill and then the I'm tying like olives and spring olives and such like. This is the olive version, this one here. Uh, just straighten up a wee bit. So it's basically a different colour, but it's tied in a straight hook and it's got a tail. So you can you can tie either. Uh, and it's quite a simple fly to tie. As so I say, I'm going to be tying the, the, the midge version. Now, the hook, I mean, there's, there's kind of lots of hooks out there. Uh, there's the, this is a short shank special. Now I'm going to be tying a size, this is a size 12. Now the shank of this is a size 14 but it's a gape, it's equivalent to a size 12. So now I'm using a black thread, I'm just going to wax my thread first before I start. Just run it through the wax, it gives you plenty of grip, you need grip, especially when you're tying obviously. Now what I do is I come down to about the point of the hook, so the thread's in line with the point, and then I come up to just about maybe a mil and a half, two mil, say two mil to give yourself plenty of room to tie in the deer hair, because I tie in the deer hair this way. But I put the CDC on first. So looking for three three feathers. Depends on if these are medium to large feathers, it's just mallard duck. I'm just pulling these fibres together, just lining up. Just lining up the ends, pull it together, and then we're looking round about, let's see the hook length tied forward. Now what you do is lift it up, make sure you've got that room there to tie in the deer here, which is there. That's fine, so bring your thread back to the back. And then, what a taper, so I slightly cut an angle from the top down, there, like that. I mean, it's very simple to tie this fly, really. It's just making sure you've got enough room at the head. So we start to work our way down. Now you could put legs on this if you want to tie like more a hopper-like, but I'm just sticking to the midge. Just going to wax my thread there. Now I've got the natural, this is a peacock quill. Now I have stripped most of the, the herald away using bleach. Uh, you can leave it, but you can, or you can run your nail through it to take the excess away. Now, when I tear it off, you get this wee piece of the stem there that makes it's ideal to tie on. So we just catch that in. Make sure you got it right. It's very sort of it twists and turns easy on that piece. When you're going to wind the quill up, so we wind up to basically the beginning of the thorax. Now you can wind over some super glue or varnish. Now if you've got a midge pattern, so say a black body with a gold or a pearl rib or you've got a favourite midge pattern, you can just tie the midge behind and then tie the wing and everything else the same. This is just the quill version which works. So we wind over the varnish to get the quill effect, just work our way up. Now you could use it, you could rib it or you can, like I'm doing here, is just touching, touching turns with the quill. Tie it in, just going to... Break it or cut it away. Dubbing. I'm just using this is just a blend of my own. It's just a rabbit fur and UV blended through it. And there's probably a wee touch of mask, here's mask in there. It's just stuff I blend myself. You can mix, you can use whatever you like. Make sure you've got a wee bit of UV there. Now I'm just lightly dubbing it on. And then just form a thorax, even if I've got to wind through and come back up. I like it rough, right? This make this makes uh, for a good fly. So once you're happy, just bring your thread to the front. And then what you want to do is get some I'm using in this size of fly, it depends on the deer here, but I'm using some raw deer. This will rip this will help split the give you a split wing at the back. 
kind of like a delta shaped wing which you get in a lot of flies is that I mean midge have delta wings they sit or the wings sit at the back much like uh, when olives come off they have that when they're first hatching it's like the midway through the hatch you'll see the wings are sitting off and this what this fly does it gives that impression of that so basically what I'm doing is remove the fluff from the, the under fur from the deer hair put it into the stack of tips first tap it on your desk there we are all lines up, so you know, lines up, take it out with your fingers and thumb. Now, don't go as long as the deer here. I mean, you see the length here. You don't want that, you want it shorter. So, uh, it's giving it support and giving it more like legs. And we tie this in front of the wing and then basically tie it in like you were doing like an elk here caddis. Three or four turns there. Now, I'm just checking to see it's fine now the cut ends then what I do is just lift the thread I sorry I lift the cut ends up and bring the thread through each turn and work my way to the eye that secures it in and then you get to the front a few turns in get your varnish and varnish the thread about a centimetre from the eye down and then I want you to finish that will Basically varnish the head and lock in the wet finish. It's a great way of doing it. Trim that away. Now it's looking a bit hairy as you see. So what we want to do is bring down, I bring out the cut ends. And then we're going to cut that like we would do an elk hair caddis. Maybe a wee bit shorter. Just take your time to make sure you've got it all. Try and take my fingers out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. And then we just come in. Nice angle cut, same angle as the eye, really use that as a guide. Trim that away, this one I missed. I usually just tap it back. Now what I'm going to do is the, the wing is desperate to come through there, the CDC is anyway. So I'm just going to press on that, bring it through the way it should be. And there we are. And that's you basically getting like a delta wing. Uh, like you would get in a mayfly, or even the midge. It sits back, the deer hair supports the fly and then you've got obviously the shuttlecock version of that, that's an uh, impression of it. It's basically, it's like an all round, I mean if you see this on the water, uh, it sits lovely in the water and uh, just where you want the fly to be, as I say, they, they've got, the only difference in this fly here and the fly is it's got a tail and it's on a straight hook. Whereas this one's not got a tail and it's, I've come round the bend. So you've got two really nice patterns in the same style, different colours. And you can tie them in different sizes. You, the body can be changed. You could use just a dubbing, just a normal. If you've got a, like uh, patterns or mayfly patterns that you use, uh, you just use that colour combination. Just press that down. And there we are. And that's it. It's just an all round emerger. Uh, it's like the delta wing style. I mean, I should really put one of these on so you can you can see it. The, the olive version, you can probably see a wee bit better than this. Now, there's only two CDC feathers in this one, not three, so it's a wee bit lighter. So you've got that delta wing light look. I mean, if you're into, if you see these flies, if you know, when, you, when these flies are hatching, you'll see this area where the wings are sitting back like that and the, the the fly is very, very vulnerable for getting taken and the fish do love taking that, that emerging fly, that style and as I say, even an egg laying caddis this would work for uh, there's lots, of, that's why it's basically a good all round fly so there we are, I'll put the one I just tied on back on and uh, give it a go, I mean it's a style, it's a method uh, it's worth a go, it's uh, certainly worth having in your box I'll put that in a wee bit better and there we are, and that's your uh, all rounder. Uh, basically, is basically a delta wing. It's a delta wing emerger. Uh, is what I usually call it. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. And again, thank you for watching.